listen to your album Gods of Violence, and I know it's only early into the year, but this is looking like it could be my favorite album of the year. It's really aggressive, I dig it, uh, and I love the film clips too. The film clips are even better, uh, you know, with the satanic orgies, and uh, the Satan is Real clip was cool as well. Uh, can you tell us a bit about the album and the film clips? Uh, how did that all come about? Uh, we had a, we had this idea of like doing a uh, video trilogy, so to speak, you know. And uh, mm -hmm. the third clip is coming out tomorrow, yeah. uh, which will be the song "Total Terror and Terror." Mm -hmm. um, the first two kind of tell the story of the creative demon coming to life, yeah. and uh, the second, the first one, the second one goes brings the creative demon into the medieval times, and the third will be more 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 uh, current uh, modern. Um, video. So yeah, um, um, I'm very happy with um, with with what, 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 what the, the way the, the the videos look. I, yeah. I, I I like them a lot. Yeah, I know. In this day and age, most people, you know, all the film clips they see, see would be on uh, YouTube, and that's different to how it was maybe 15 years ago, where you try to get on like Headbangers Ball or MTV or something. Uh, do you find you have more freedom now with your film clips that you don't really have restrictions and you don't have to, you know, meet TV criteria and things like that? Nah, it's not so easy, man. I mean, YouTube, you're not allowed to show nudity. So our first video clip um, got the violence. If yeah. you want to see the uncensored version, you have to go to Vimeo or something, uh, an alternative to YouTube, you know. So, yeah, uh, um, when it comes to violence, for some reason, there's no restrictions when yeah. it comes to nudity. Yeah. There is. <laughs> Tells you something, right? Yeah, it doesn't make sense because uh, I don't think there's nothing wrong with nudity, but uh, violence, you know, <laughs> that's different. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Isn't it? I was really surprised. I mean, our, our videos are very intense, like especially the, the Gods of Violence one. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to, 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 to get, uh, you know, whatever, uh, whether you like it or not, but you want people to be able to to get the whole experience, not a censored one, and uh, we had to make a special version for for YouTube because of the nudity. Yeah. And sure. we had to blur, we blur like the nipples and stuff like that, which is a, uh, I can understand where that's coming from, but um, of course it's not it's not like you know it's kind of like the modern day MTV, and yeah. uh, you cannot do anything you want. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, talking about Satan and. You know, the devil, it's such a great topic for heavy metal music, but uh, I'm just wondering what your thoughts and beliefs on it are. Is it, you know, a literal belief in Satan, or is it more of like a metaphoric, what's going on in the world uh, kind of thing? I don't, I don't, I believe in, 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 uh, in energy, man. I believe in it. If, if anything, I believe in, it's too complex to com to, and complicated to, in, in this in this time that we have now for this interview to yeah, sure. explain what I really do believe because but it, it's more simple it's more it's like I don't believe in icons I don't believe in um, man-made uh, icons like God or, or, or Satan or anything like that mm -hmm. I think just the the, the title came about um, talk like I had the idea of like this cannot be I mean like when I when I wrote Satan is real I was like I, I'm still in 2016, people are still believing in God and and, 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 and you know, weird, like, fairy tales from the past. Mm. And I, I had the, when I was a teenager, um, I thought these, these, these things would become obsolete in the year 2000, but they didn't. So that's why I, I, um, I, that, that inspired me to write this song, you know, so, um, I don't believe that Satan is real, of course, but I believe that um, um, that that the human mind and the way that, that the, the things that people are still going to wars for are very medieval, and very much um, backward, mm -hmm. uh, instead of going forward and evolving into a direction where we all agree on the fact that these things are definitely important for the history and the. Uh, the way we see the world in this day and age and, and, and nowadays, but I don't believe that we should we should go we, we should move on. That's what the song says. Uh, yeah, really, basically. Sure. Yeah. 
Our your new album, it was uh, produced by Hens Borgen, he's a Swedish producer. He's done some really good albums. He did the new Sepultura and, you know, some of the best Opeth albums and Catatonia. Uh, just what was he like mm-hmm. to work with as a producer? Oh, he's cool. Um, he's one of those producers that kind of, like, get very involved and get very much um, into, into he's, he's very emotional and very... Um, mm-hmm. Very uh, organized and very um, not, not to say like strict, but he's, he has a he has a view, has, he has a vision, and we have a vision. And sometimes it clicks, sometimes it doesn't. And but in the end of the day, we're both like really working on. We we, we all want the same thing. We want the album to be killer. And um, um, yeah, it, it was. It's been a good. It's been a great. It has been a great help. Let me put it this way. Yeah, for sure. Now, uh, most people are familiar with the American Big Four thrash bands, Anthrax, Megadeth, Metallica, Slayer. Uh, not quite as many people know about the German Big Three, which is you guys, Sodom and Destruction. Now, when I go back and I listen to, you know, your albums, I always feel that uh, you guys were a bit more aggressive, a bit more brutal than maybe Metallica or Megadeth were. Do you think... There was a bit of competition back in the days that you guys tried to, you know, outdo what the Americans were doing at the time. Hard to hard to tell. I mean, we were definitely inspired by by what the Americans were doing, but we we're also inspired what what the British and the, and the Australian bands were doing. You know, yeah. there was a um, the Hobbs Angel of Death, for oh, example, yeah. and um, there was there was some some cool bands coming from from Australia. Yeah. But we were never like we were never focusing on one particular country. We were metalheads that love and still do you know we still it doesn't matter where a band comes from as long as it's like well, this is amazing you know what i mean yeah Bas- that's sure. basically it yeah and you you guys are still writing like your new album you know you listen to that and then you listen back to like pleasure of kill and the qualities as good as it was back then are what's kept you inspired this long passion for the music just really that's basically it it's, it's, it's as simple as that mm-hmm. um being being able to still enjoy this takes some it takes a lot of like dedication and that's we're dedicated metal as we love music we love we feel gifted you know we feel gifted that we can still be able to do this on on such a high level and we can still be creator and be uh, the best and we're trying to be the best version of creator that we can be that's basically it for sure. Now I hear in uh, March you're going to go out on tour with a few other bands. That there's uh, Soil Work, Aborted, Sepultura. It's a pretty good lineup. Are you looking forward to the tour? Absolutely. This is going to be this is going to be killer. And uh, um, I think I think that um, there's a lot of like different bands on the on the on the on the, on the tour mm-hmm. i think there's like a like each individual band has a has a unique style but all all, all four bands um come have their roots in extreme metal so it's, it's it's great yeah definitely do you think you guys will make it down to australia in the next year or two september september awesome man well i'll definitely be at that show all right yeah cool now i'm just also wondering you know you're definitely an old school band, but do you keep up with you know new releases? Do you still get excited when a band like you know Metallica or Slayer puts out a new album? Yeah, uh, yes, absolutely. I'm still a metalhead, you know. I'm, I, I I do check out their records, and I I think most of those bands put out good records still, you know. Especially the two bands that you mentioned, mm-hmm. they put out decent stuff, you know. I mean, especially the new Metallica. I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, it was definitely a surprise. I thought, you know, maybe they were finished with good songs, but this one's good. You know, it's the best one they've done in a while. It has has, has some great songs on on the record. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now, when you first started out in Germany, I'm just wondering what was, like, it's just so different, sounds very foreign, you know, back at the time. uh, Was it a big metal scene in Germany when it was just you guys and Tankard and Sodom playing? Did many people turn up to the shows in, you know, the mid to late 80s? It was more underground, really. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, nowadays, there's a lot more people, of course, uh, and uh, but but it was still fun, you know. Um, metal and the type of metal that we played wasn't so popular, and um, 
Um, Germany has a tradition of like, like yeah, more the melodic power metal stuff, and we were like standing out, and uh, people were like didn't really know what to think, you know, in the beginning. But we got there. We we worked our way up there. Yeah. What year would you say was like the year that you really cracked it big and you know you're pulling in the big crowds and touring internationally? It was it was probably during Extreme Extreme Aggression's Coma of Souls era. Mm -hmm. We were headlining our own tours and uh, we were um, going out on we were playing we were playing bigger halls, bigger clubs, and um, yeah, from then onward it was uh, it's been a ride, you know. I mean, of course, you, you're not. The sizes and capacities of the clubs that we're playing differ from each country that we go to, but we play all over the world, you know. Yeah, cool. I'll just ask you one more question. I know you've been uh, releasing albums and touring a lot over the, you know, the last 25 plus years. Um, just wondering, outside of metal and music, do you have any hobbies? Is there anything you know you're really passionate about that, you know, creative fans don't know about? Probably like movies and, and sports, really. I mean, I, I'm not. I don't watch sports, but I, I like CrossFit. I like um, yoga. I like um, a lot of different things. You know, probably pretty pretty boring stuff, really. <laughs> but uh, I, I enjoy it. You know, I, 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 to me, it's very important to have a life outside music, and that is my private life. And uh, the hobbies that I have are probably not much different from what our, our fans' hobbies are. Yeah, awesome, man. Well, uh, I just want to say, first of all, uh, Millie, thanks very much for taking your time out to talk with me today. I, as I said, I love the album, man. It's just got so much balls and aggression, and it's, uh, you know, it sounds fresh as well. It's not like a band that's just uh, churning out the same riffs. You know, it's different. It's got some, a lot of melodic elements. There's some, you know, really good thrash parts. And again, the imagery with the film clip just makes it uh, so much cooler as well. So I just want to say thanks for the new album, man. I'm really digging it. Thank you, man. Thanks for your support, and I'll uh, see you in Australia. Yeah, cool, man. I'll see you in September. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Take care. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs>